through the carbonate, that's how I got free. Jump it back off because there's no stopping me. Postmodern player, sample tastic, flows ekphrastic. I get drastic. Hey, watch the plastic. Yo, I name check and leave you drastic. Welcome to the MacGuffin, episode 166. I'm Spencer. I'm Greg. Today we're giving you our DVD rundown for July 3rd. Mm-hmm. In 3D. Mm -hmm. No, um, just July 3rd. <laughs> yeah. Kind of a tough weekend for DVDs, honestly. Yeah. I mean, there's some okay stuff comes out. But yeah, but no. essentially nothing worthwhile on the DVD yeah, edition. Yeah, nothing really going... huge and special that's like, ooh, that's the first time that's been out. Or... Which is kind of surprising because this is the day before the 4th of July. You'd think they would try and, somebody would try and count capitalize on the holiday yeah and maybe, I guess, maybe that's why they're like no one will be in town don't even bother i mean i guess you could say one of these yeah, does exactly. capitalize on it but in oh, a very, it totally does. A very weird way in, yeah, yeah in, the Not, most, in the too sad of the yeah, yeah well anyway let's kick this uh show off mm -hmm. by talking about the blu-ray release of barbarella mm -hmm. this is the film starring was a jane fonda mm -hmm. as sort of a sci-fi cl camp classic yes with a particularly attractive female mm -hmm. lead in a outfit that seems um made for males <laughs> made for made for males and probably inappropriate for like space yeah, made travel for males and like strippers probably but like yeah it exactly. seems very inappropriate yeah. for tr space travel yeah like, it seems very cold it, it, i would it's, say it, i mean and it's, not very protective of the harsh elements of space. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it it definitely feels of the time. I would be yes. very curious. I've heard they t they've talked about remaking it, mm -hmm. which seems very hard to imagine how that would actually. It's currently, a TV series Nicholas Wending Remph is currently. Oh Fox. yeah, that just came out mm -hmm. recently. Wow. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, why don't you stick to Logan's run, dude? Like that seems like the much better decision I, here. I'll be amazed to see if anything actually happens of it. There's a lots of people in talks to work on. I mean, look how long he's been talking about Logan's run alone, and so who knows? Uh, who knows? yeah. Anyway, again, mm -hmm. this falls into that category of like totally <laughs> underwhelming release. Well, the movie's like it's like Barbarella Blu-ray, cool. I mean, Barbarella's a good movie. I love it, but on Blu-ray without much special features. No, none. Literally, none? the oh. only feature okay. it has is the none. theatrical trailer. Oh, good. Yeah. So it's Which like is... a it's like a first gen DVD release, basically. Pretty much. Yeah. And I just I can't is imagine. It, does that have the cardboard cover and the snap? Like... No, I don't think they have that. <laughs> but uh, given that this is essentially that, mm -hmm. I just I can't see them going back and doing another edition unless Criterion or something someday buys the rights. <laughs> I just can't see there being yeah. any additional special yeah. features to this film. Sadly. So uh, I maybe guess if the show ever happens, they'll have some re-release. Maybe it'll be money. That's not that's that not point. a bad call, but I but would not put yours. money on that yeah. show. Yeah, yeah. Just, just say yeah. that right now. <laughs> mm. oh. One of the uh, I guess sad <laughs> yeah. but more feature laden talk, additions. Talk about profiting. And in a weird be, way, oh, I'm just being gratuitous. Is the Born on the Fourth of July <laughs> yeah. Blu-ray Universal 100th Anniversary Edition? Yeah. So first off, they're putting out Born on the Fourth of July on July 3rd. Okay, that's kind of clever, but fortunate for them, it felt so close. You're doing it as a hundred release of your own movie studio that has nothing to do with the movie screw you yeah it's i mean in terms of like special features it's let's see uh commentary by oliver stone uh some backstory of the film about mm. the guy who mm -hmm. it's based upon and then it's essentially 100 years of universal in the 80s and 100 years of academy award winners by universal so it's really just patting themselves on the back <laughs> yeah and i it, bet you i bet you there's been features maybe non blu-ray ver ver versions but i bet most of those features have been on previous dvd releases oh yeah totally <laughs> i mean it's already come out on blu-ray before oh, okay god um, so it's even this, more I, ridiculous i will say it is the blu-ray dvd digital copy so that's at least a yes. positive but the bigger <laughs> issue that we're completely uh, missing is that this is really an anti-war movie. Yeah. And that's not, like, the most patriotic theme to release. Uh -huh. on, like, <laughs> yeah. And I'm not saying people need to be pro-war, but it's really yeah. about a guy who's, like, gets disillusioned uh -huh. by his, like existence in america mm -hmm. after yeah. coming back from a war which he does horrific things during yeah like, Let, let's just say that you know dependent 
some of his movies, not so much as the others, but Oliver Stone is not necessarily known for his pro-America patriotism in his films. No. That's probably a, face, a safe bet, and yeah. we'll probably talk about this more when we Later talk this about week. Oliver Stone this mm -hmm. week. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's one good reason to talk yes. about it, is that we're talking about Oliver Stone yes. this week. That's it. Right. Otherwise, stick it in the crapper. Yeah. It's my new tagline, by the way. S is it? Stick it in the crapper. I just came up with it right now. That <laughs> Copyright coin, McGuffin. Coining it, minting it, done. T-shirts. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give me a Sharpie. Yeah. Okay. Moving on to a, a couple releases from the Magnolia mm. uh, br or studio, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call it. Not really a studio, but company. Yeah. Whatever. Film production agency. I don't Distribution know. Distribution. Yeah, sure. There we go. Distributor. There we go. <laughs> Distributor. Yeah. Yes, we, do this, we do this on purpose. Yes, yeah. Yes. Yeah. We're professionals. The first we're going to talk about <laughs> is God Bless America. Mm -hmm. uh, came out this year. We're talking about Cat Goldthwait. Mm -hmm. uh, story about a guy who goes on a rampage with a younger lady, mm -hmm. uh, killing people that... Kind of uh, bug him in society. Yes. Reality stars exactly. and... Horrible drivers and American like Idol and whatnot. Mm, yes, that's right. And this is the film that's that stars what prompts it like an American Idol esque performance. Yes, yes. Film stars Joel Murray and Tara Lynn Barr mm. interviewed them at uh, mm. South by Southwest. So I'll be posting this hopefully right around the same time as this. Very nice. Try and coordinate a little Look bit. Look at that. Look at that. It's almost like we actually are professionals yeah. again. Uh, strange. Deemed it. Um, strange side note. One of the producers, Richard Kelly. Huh. I don't know what the connection there is or why he was a producer on this movie, but weird. Yeah. I guess he's Maybe him and Bobcat are, uh, are homies. I know. But it's got, let's see, outtakes and bloopers, uh, deleted television spoofs for mm. the little shows in the uh -huh. film, um, behind the scenes, interviews with uh, Bobcat and the two stars, HD net look at God Bless America, which is that classic sort of Magnolia feature mm -hmm. that they seem to always do. Yeah. Uh, commentary with Bobcat and the two stars. And nice. That's, that's pretty good. I mean, it's a solid, loaded. solid edition. No uh, digital copy as far as I'm aware or DVD, whatever. But, you know, it's a decent, mm -hmm. decent edition. At least it's coming out with something other than, you know, it's studio theatrical padding itself on the, on the back or a theatrical trailer. Yeah. yeah. There is a trailer on it, though. Just throw that out there. Yeah. As well as many other things. Yes. The other one, uh, again, another film that I guess it officially came out last year, but only mm. made it its way over the States this year, was The Hunter, mm. starring Willem Dafoe, huh. about a yeah, mercenary... Yeah, this one my radar, I don't Oh, this, sound, this one sounds crazy. Like, yeah. I mean, and it's a mercenary that's sent um, from Europe to, I believe it's Tasmania, in mm. search of the Tasmanian tiger huh. for a biotech company, and then he huh. gets caught up in this, like, small town world, and one of those families that's in this world, and it's kind of, kind of a crazy thing. And it's actually one of the features of featurettes on the DVD is uh, making of the hunter, the story, the characters, Tasmania, and the tiger. Because I believe the Tasmanian tiger is believed to be extinct. Mm, okay. And that's sort of one of yeah, the I elements right. of the thing. Interesting. And whether it's like there's supposedly one alive, you know, yeah. Bigfoot or whatever mm -hmm. kind whatever, of thing. Whatever, yeah, the, whatever the plot of the film entails. Yes. Um, but that played out like South by Southwest hmm. and other places. Oh, I mean, nice. it's Willem Dafoe. Yeah. It's, I mean, generally, I'm pretty a awesome. Pretty big fan yeah. of him. So. so, you got the, uh, the feature, uh, you got deleted scenes with commentary, commentary with the director and producer, and then the trailer. Nice. So, decent little package. Yeah. yeah. Again, no um, Blu ray, DVD, downloadable copy, but you know. Magnolia does decent mm -hmm. releases. Yeah. At least it's putting out all that other stuff. So, at least you can yes, find out some stuff exactly. about the movie, behind the scenes stuff, yeah, etc. So, not too bad. Mm -hmm. Anyway, those are some suggestions or warnings, as yes. the case may be, yes. for this week. Yes. Let us know what you would pick and uh, join us this Friday, as we mentioned, when we discuss Oliver Stone mm -hmm. in honor of the release of The Savages or just I think Savage Savages. Yes. yes. No, not the. I think there already might have been a The Savages. Yeah, but probably. Just Savages. Yeah. Yeah, savages. Something, something yeah, different, say. very different kind of savages. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let us know your thoughts at MacGuffinPodcast.com, Twitter.com slash MacGuffinCast, Facebook.com slash MacGuffinPodcast, phone number 323-761-9842. Check in, mm -hmm. get glue, and we will see you next time. Magneto can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. This type don't even try to bite the side of style. Mr. Spock can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. The board can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. Because I've got space game and it feels alright.